Um, hello, everybody. Hello, panel. Uh, my name is Kira O'Farrell. I'm from Trinity, uh, and I'm here with my colleague Teresa Logan Phelan, also from Trinity, um, Michelle Tuher from NUIG, Alison Egan from MIE, and um, Anne Jordan, who's just joined us, who's been working in Trinity with us on this project, and Anne is originally from um, WIT. So the title of our um, project is the alignment and development of an online program for um, graduate teaching assistants. Ah, wrong way. Um, these are the um, these are our colleagues who are working with us. Um, Therese Moylan is not able to be here, but she's from IADT. So what's our project about? Well, in Trinity we've had an existing five ECTS module for our graduate teaching assistants. Um, which is called Teaching and Supporting Learning, and it's been running for a number of years now. Um, the issue with it was primarily that we couldn't reach enough, enough of our graduate teaching assistants with it. Um, we could only take on about 20 people at a time to have it right, and typically it ran twice a year. And as usual, like we have far more teaching assistants than that, and teaching assistants may not have been able to attend on the days we wanted to do it. So we um, were very grateful to have the opportunity to develop this into an online module, um, it's, which hopefully will be available through to all the institutions through the National Forum. Um, the idea is that um, it will be quite flexible. We're hoping it will be quite flexible. Um, we'll use it as a 5 ECTS module because we've gone through that accreditation process already. Um, we're going to use it as a blended module. We're going to top and tail it, and we're going to do some, some, some more classes with it. It will be released as an online module, and then it's up to each institution how they use it, if they want to accredit it, do it for credit. If they don't want to accredit it, it can be hopefully useful in itself as a piece of unaccredited professional development. Um, we've, got it, we've done it in blocks. The idea is that hopefully you can either take it as a whole, as there's seven blocks, or that you can take it in pieces depending on your, your needs and the needs of your graduate teaching assistants. Um, and our module was for graduate teaching assistants who were already um, teaching. Um, and some of the feedback that we got when we did the needs analysis of this was that um, we found that, there, that we had graduate teaching assistants who were about to go into the classroom um, who we weren't, I suppose, capturing because one of the things we wanted to do with our existing module was to get them to do some peer review and to get them to reflect on their teaching as they were doing it. So what we've done here is we've also um, included a wider audience of, of, of teaching assistants who are about to go into the classroom for the first time who haven't actually taught or who would like to explore that, that road. So that's what our project is. Um, that's our work plan. Um, the analysis stage was January to, 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 to March, so we, we, we met, we discussed what we needed, we created some focus groups, we did data collection, data design and analysis. The design phase was April to June, we began the curriculum development, we did that with some existing graduate teaching assistants following your feedback after um, the first time we met. Um, the instructional design process began um, and we're currently in the development stage where we're moving from um, Anne, who is our academic developer, is moving um, her scripts and her videos and her PowerPoints over to our online learning team who are designing them and, and putting an instructional design framework on it and creating it as the online interactive experience. We're still hoping to uh, have reached implementation by, by this September. It's, 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 it's a fast pace, but we're on, we're on track. Ideally, you know, the impetus is that we want to release it for, for our new, um, for, for new graduate teaching assistants who, are, who will be starting um, in October. So the idea is that we'll, that, that we'll hopefully be able to release a, a pilot version um, as, um, in, by, by the end, or by September, by the end of September. And then we'll evaluate that as the, that, as the, year, as the year goes on. So this is what we've completed. We've completed the product initiation um, and the analysis phase. Um, following feedback we did, um, we had mapped our existing module, but we also began to see what other um, modules, what other offerings were out there in the field. Um, there, weren't, there weren't too many. Um, but there were, um, NUIG had, um, had a module that they were using Epigeum. Um, other people had kind of just-in-time training. So we were able to kind of map and see where, where, where the needs were. And within our, our institutions, we had some um, 
for example, engineering have a small program, so we're able to align with them and see see um, see where that mapped. We also did a literature search, but that's ongoing. Anne is, uh, Anne is continuing to do that as we go through the modules. Um, and we uh, surveyed and focused. We were quite quite extensive. We had about 250 respondents in total um, between the focus groups and, and the surveys, which was a mixture of um, graduate teaching assistants um, as well as um, institutions. We sent out an institution-wide survey to all of you, um, and um, also some kind of key stakeholders, I suppose, within the university who um, who we would have worked with before in terms of um, uh, in terms of our TA program. From that, we identified some gaps, uh, and we began to, to, to fill those gaps, bearing in mind that the project was about, I suppose, the enhancements of an existing five ECS pro pro program. So we went with what we had, and we just um, filled the gaps that the needs analysis showed. So now um, we're currently designing it in the, uh, in, in the online environment. As I said, it will be the idea is that it will probably most likely be blended um, by each institution as they get it. Um, we've repurposed, as I said, uh, reused some of the existing materials, we're filling the gaps, and we're just about to hand over the second of seven domain-based learning blocks, as we call them, and I'll show um, an example to you now just in a minute. Um, and that once it's handed over, it goes through a design phase, so that's kind of the instruction design phase, and that's a lovely iterative phase. We're really just in that, aren't we, Anne, for the, for, for at, at the moment, so it kind of goes back between the instructional designer and the academic developer, and they, 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 they work together to, to get it right. Okay, what's next? Um, we'll just continue in that iterative stage over the summer. Uh, and as I said, then come September, we'll, we'll hopefully pilot um, and then begin to evaluate um, as af after that. These are some of the things that, um, to, to briefly, I, I presented at the last um, event we were at, the, was it the speed dating? It was where, where I talked about it in more detail about the survey and the focus groups, but just to highlight a couple of areas where, where there were gaps, communications. Um, came up um, quite quite strongly as what both um, students and institutions wanted um, as part of, of a graduate teaching assistant program. We didn't have a huge emphasis in that in our in our existing modules, so so we feel that it also uh, communication is also part of the domains of the of the um, professional development plan. So that was a gap that we had to fill. Lecturing, um, a lot of them wanted lecturing. Now that was something that that we talked a lot about. Um, for me, a graduate teaching assistant is more about small group teaching and supporting learning, but um, um, they, they were very keen to find out a little bit more about how to construct a lecture. So I suppose we, 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 we've met that halfway. We've, we've, we've included in the communication section and the design phase um, information on how to create an effective PowerPoint and how to structure um, your, your, your lesson plans. So it will be tools and skills hopefully that will be useful for lecturing without actually saying you're now going into a classroom and you'll be expected to lecture because they, they, they shouldn't be at this stage of their, of their career. Um, lab management techniques was something that came up as well. As it happens, um, we have um, in Trinity at the moment a project which has just completed, um, which was a, an innovation grant and they have just completed a lab management manual which is online and interactive so we're going to be able to, to link to that as well which is, which is good. Students as partners, um, yeah, this was something that's been that's been really rewarding, actually, and very very interesting. It, it was the student um, representative on the panel who gave us feedback on this. Um, I had said that we were going to contact students and talk to existing graduate students and you know use them for the for for the um, focus group and the design phase of it. And um, the the feedback that we got was, well, what else can you do? So it, it really got us thinking about how we can use students a little bit more. As it happened, we had a 5 East test. That module was starting um, at around the same time as Anne was developing it. So we invited um, the students on that, um, on that program to be part of this. And they really have, in many ways, acted as co-designers on it. Unfortunately, that program is finished, so, but there, there's lots more opportunities, hopefully, down the road. Um, NUIG, the students on, on their course, will evaluate it next term. Um, and. Um, the existing um, students in, uh, in, in Trinity also um, have given us um, resources that we can use. So, for example, real teaching philosophy statements that they have written as part of their, their program um, or lesson plans, things like that. So it's been, it's been, it's been a really good process. 
Um, the other interesting thing was that we had um, in the survey that we that we did, we asked if any of the students would be willing to be contacted. We sent a survey around to existing GTAs in Trinity, and a large number, and was it almost 70 of them were, it was a very large number actually agreed, yeah, and gave us their email. So that's a lovely um, resource base that we, can, that we can come back to again. We are already contacting if we need a science voice or if we need somebody to, to look at something and saying, is this right for the science? We're, we're, we're contacting these people and saying, would you mind having a quick look at that? But hopefully we can, we can make more use of that on, ongoing. So these are the blocks. Um, we have seven blocks which will form the module. Um, we have aligned them throughout, I suppose, to, to, to the domains. Initially we thought would we have five blocks actually in, in the same names as the domains, but it didn't, it, we, we felt it was better to do this way. So they're the blocks. You can read them yourselves. And this is what it's going to look like. So this is hot off the press, so to speak. The online press. Um, now they have. My online colleagues have stressed that it's it's it's. This isn't the final product. So you know already now. When I read these just yesterday, I could see a few areas where we need to tweak. So don't worry about the content so much. But this is what what it will look like. So when you go on to um, the home page, this is what you'll see. Um, you'll see um, uh, uh, the learning outcomes. Um, an introduction to the module and in, in this case the, so the academics were involved in, in teaching that module so Anne and myself are there for, for, for the moment. Um, and then down the left hand side is, uh, is, all the, is all the blocks. Okay, So if you click on uh, the first block then you, you get to, um, well this is, this is the design process that they use, so you'll get to an introduction um, to prepare, to study, apply, reflect and recall. And that's the stages that the learner will go through for each of the seven blocks. So click on the introduction and um, Jane Doe will be replaced with Anne in this case. Anne has, is about to do her recording. So what Anne has done is she's provided online learning with the script um, and with PowerPoints. And the online then have made that um, into, they, they, they've created a multimedia interactive experience. Anne is about to record that, so we haven't got to that stage where it's recorded yet. But Anne will give a brief introduction to the block, to what students are going to, um, to how students are going to learn in it and to, to the key parts of it. It's, it's short, it's just a, a few minutes long, and will explain what the learning objectives are for that block. Um, then um, when you get into the prepare stage, it's just, I suppose, the hook just to get the, just to get the, the, the teaching assistants thinking about what they're going to learn. So it can be, it can be a number of things. In this case, they've just done um, a, very, a very short reflective question. So this is um, about the role of the teaching assistant, this particular block. So what we've said is, you know, do you have the approval of your research supervisor if you're going to teach or if you want to teach? So for those of them thinking about that, they now have to think, well, I need to go and contact my supervisor. I didn't realise I had to do that if I'm going to teach. And then when they contact their supervisor or their institutions, they'll be told, well, in Trinity, you can't teach in your first year, for example. So when you click on this, if you click on you don't know, then you'll get some more information about what to do or where to go. Okay. The next stage is the... Um, is, is the study part. And the study part is, I suppose, the content, um, the didactic part. So that's the, the lecture. Again, everything is, um, everything is, is, is read. Um, it's um, on audio, and there's a PDF copy. So it's, it's, it's inclusive. So that's what you see if you click on the, the, the study part. That's the start of the presentation. Again, this is the role of the graduate teaching assistant. Okay. And each, um, there, there's typically about 20 minutes worth of, uh, of listening um, um, for this part. So um, as, the, as Anne will speak, or as, it won't always be Anne, we'll, we'll vary it, but as the academic speaks, the text comes up. So in this case, um, it, 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 it's talking about what the role, what, what graduate teaching systems might be doing in the classroom, and you, you, you click on these. The specific roles are highlighted here in, in a quadrant. You can also click on each quadrant to find out more information about it. Okay, so, so for example, if you're not um, in the lab, you, may not, you might not necessarily click on the last one. If you are talking about managing tutorials or seminars, you'll click on that, you'll get more information. So that's 20 minutes 
of your of your kind of didactic piece, I suppose. Then you get to the apply section. Um, and the apply section is, I suppose, asking you to put or to think about how you'd put into practice what you've, what you've learned. So often it might be the creation of a small artefact or to journal something. Um, so in this case, we're, we're, we're asking um, TAs to, to, to investigate any other training opportunities that are within their institution, in their faculty or elsewhere, and to sort of plan and think about how else um, they could supplement this um, throughout their throughout their, 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 maybe their year or whatever. Um, the reflect section um, is uh, what it says. Um, typically we will ask our um, students, our, our teaching assistants, to think about what makes, to think about an aspect of, of, of that block. Um, and they will be asked to maybe write about it in a learning journal or maybe to put, um, to, to do a, a, a video blog or something like that. Uh, and then the recall section, um, it's, that would be more small quizzes just to, to make sure that they've got all the, all the key information. Okay. So that's the, that's the design process that's used by the, online, um, by the online learning team in Trinity. So we weren't in a position to change that design process, but we actually think it's working quite well. Okay. The final part of that, am I running out of time? Okay. Final part of that is the extend, and that's where we will link them to other resources, to videos, to, uh, to reading, um, and there's also pre-reading at the beginning, but I don't think that I said. So that's where we are. That's what informs their, their theory. Um, and that's my last phase, but basically to say the communication, we're, we're just, supposed to just communicating all the time with our stakeholders to, to let them know it's on, it's on the way. Um, and uh, the next stage is Anne is off to, to the UK um, next week, isn't it, Anne? Next week you're going to the UK tomorrow, um, and she's presenting a poster um, about this. And I only saw the poster today, but it's 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 lovely. Um, and she's going to be talking um, about this and about how we've developed, and hopefully get some more feedback from the uh, from from the conference. So thank you. Thank you. So, thank you.